<laughs> well, this is a whole lot better. Right? Right. Okay. So, basically, here's the situation. I have a big old fat crush. Well, my crush isn't fat, but let's just say my heart feels that way. Because it's never felt this heavy in my entire life. Never, ever have I once just prayed to the good Lord, just please, 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 just keep me as focused as I can, because I just don't want to be distracted again. You know how you, like, have a crush, and then all of a sudden you're, like, head over heels for this person, and then they screw you over? I just don't want that to happen again, ever. But I guess that's the fear of it all. That there's a good chance this time that I might actually fall pretty deep. And I might not come back. I mean, not to the single wife, anyways. You see, every time I date somebody, it only lasts two months. And the pattern has been that every month, well, I don't date somebody every month. Don't don't get me there. Uh, everybody that I've dated for two months, I started dating them right away. I didn't take the time to like get to know them, be their friend, or anything like that. But this time's different. I think to myself, if I just keep it, you know, everything I want to feel, everything I want to say. I just keep it from here, from here, if I just keep it from here, and take it there, well, if I just keep it completely on that linear scale between me and the matchmaker, perhaps, perhaps it'll trickle down to the other side of the triangle, if you know what I'm saying. But that's just a guess. I'm usually trying to go this way, like, here's the triangle, start here, and it's like, here's me, see right there's me, and then there's this other person, cutie, incredible hunk, and then there is God, right there. You know what happens when you and this other person start walking along all of a sudden God has to stretch a little bit to do, 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 just like that and then these two people are like do, 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 do. they're trying to figure out why 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 isn't it working out um, they forgot that there's a bigger picture going on, and nothing's really adding up because, well, they just left him out of the equation. That's for darn sure. And, uh, I've done that way too many times. See this book? I'm only reading it backwards now, but it says Jesus Calling. Now, some of you religious folk might get all crazy upon me, but don't. Right? This ain't nothing about religion. This is all about connection. Divine, inspired relationship. Where are you going to find this anywhere else on earth? Between two people? I don't think so. We are two unrighteous messes trying to get together and fix a whole darn thing. Oh, and that, that, that doesn't never work. So I'll read this. Take time to be holy. Wait. You want me to be holy? What's that supposed to mean? Okay. Oh, the, the word holy does not mean goody-goody. It does not mean goody-good two-shoes. I live my life by the standards of ballet series. No. It means set apart for sacred use. Set apart. Okay, set apart. I'm hopping in and out of accents as we speak and it's kind of bothering me but hopefully it won't for you because I just find it funny um so set apart all right that's like you're looking 
at, I don't know, there's a bucket full of marbles, and they're all black, except for one of them is white. So what do you do? You be obsessive compulsive, and you take the white one out, and you set it apart, because it's different from the rest. And then you stare at that white marble and say, what the heck is going on with that marble? It's so pretty gorgeous. Well, and, and that's how it is. Okay, set it apart. So, set apart for sacred use. That is what the quiet moments in my presence are accomplishing within you. Okay, first I have to be holy, and then set apart, which separate myself from the rest, and just shut up and be quiet. What do you think about that? It's nuts. So as you, as I focus on my mind, and my heart, and him, I'm being transformed recreated into the one he designed me to be. Process requires blocks of time set aside for communication with me. Okay. Stop there. We're only halfway through. Oh man. So what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Time aside. I cleaned my entire room today. I woke up at nine. I was in here till probably about I don't know, four o'clock. Seven hours. That was seven hours I spent cleaning up my room. I'm moving. Nobody knows yet. And I don't really know what to do about that because it's kind of hard. I don't really know how I'm going to pay the rent. But I have faith that I will pay the rent. I will. It's the same faith I had when I went to Brazil. I went to Brazil for two weeks. I raised all the money by myself. A lot of people thought... I should stay home, take care of my family. Yada 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 yada. Excuse, excuse, excuse. No. Point blank. If you don't have any faith, that means you're sitting on your tuchus doing nothing. And you're just living a sedentary lifestyle, playing video games, waiting for your Asian little girlfriends to run around and find you. I don't think so. Sorry. I dated this guy. No, I didn't. Okay, fine, I did. We hung out. I hate that term. It doesn't mean anything to me. Of course we discussed we liked each other, and then, um, he disappeared. Just like that. And a few weeks later, I'm on set talking to this random girl. And I mentioned his name. Oh, actually, I mentioned the church I'm going to. And then she said, oh, I met this guy, Chris. He's going there. He's kind of weird. And he's obsessed with Asians. Obsessed with Asians. That was my problem. I'm not Asian. Meanwhile, we're hanging out. And he has all his little Asian posse lined up. Disgusting. Anyways, where are we going? The presents. So, I'm probably going off in the most ADD tangent of anything you've ever seen in your entire creative life, but I can't help it. That's just the way I've been made. Everything circles around like one of those poems where you connect all the words and they go together, and all of a sudden you're going in a circle, and it just makes sense. That's how my life is, and nobody understands it. So hopefully I will find somebody. I'll fall in love, and they'll fall in love with me for the fact that they're a square, and they fit into my circle just perfectly. I love you, future husband, and I'm looking out for you, and I cherish you with my whole life, and I pray for you every single day.